Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. So today we were supposed to start working on the uh, ceiling on the inside of the cabin. Unfortunately, right now we have got a storm going on and the snow is starting to build up out in the yard. Now, Duke is not working, so I can't use Duke to do any of the work in the yard uh, and I can't use him on the road. Uh, but what I can use is that ATV with the plow. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to spend a couple hours this morning and just kind of clean up the yard a little bit. I don't want the snow to get too thick because I don't know how much power or how, how uh, effective that ATV is yet with heavy snow. So we're going to go ahead and get started on that first today. So I know in the beginning of this video, I mentioned that we were going to start working on the inside of the cabin. Well, unfortunately, that ain't gonna happen today. So the weather's been kind of crappy and we've been pretty busy moving snow. I was out earlier with the uh, snow plow on our ATV, which by the way, That thing works wonders. <sighs> now all that clattering that you hear, I'm inside of the soft wall garage and uh, well, we don't have snow, it's not rain, it's just this nasty mix of ice and wintry stuff. I've got to clean off the uh, canopy and the way I do it, it's just like this. That just seems to work pretty good. You can easily get the weight off the canopy by doing that. It just seems to work for me. The weather here in Maine really dictates what we do. I mean, I wanted to work inside, but see all my materials is in my trailer. And uh, if I would open that door, the inside of my trailer would kind of look like this. And I can't have that. So rather than try to fight the storm, we're just gonna wait until uh, we have better weather. I'm not really sure when that's gonna be. It might be tomorrow, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, this weather's crazy. So while I was making my rounds, uh, cleaning off the canopies, just checking on things, I came out here to the uh, woodshed and uh, this is uh, this didn't happen last year that I remember, but I think we're gonna have to do something because uh, we've got snow all over the front of our woodshed here, and uh, I don't like that. So I think maybe what we'll do, not this year, I don't think, but maybe in the springtime or summertime, we'll look at maybe putting some sort of some tarps up here. Now we had tarps up here last year. And it kind of worked. Um, I just think I need to get the right size tarps to do it. And I think it'll be a nice break. 
to help prevent the weather from blowing in on the front here. So I don't know. We'll see. Hey folks, it's the next day. I didn't get a lot of video done uh, yesterday afternoon. That storm was just was brutal. It didn't put down a lot of snow, but it was so consistent. And uh, it was al almost like, it was like raining ice. It was pretty crazy. It's actually what I'm working on now today is uh, cleaning up more. The canopies here are doing really well. Uh, this one here, uh, that stuff was just hitting it and bouncing off. It was pretty unbelievable. The one by the kitchen, though, that one we had to clean pretty regularly because the stuff was just, like I said, it was like beads of ice. So despite having a plow on our ATV, unfortunately, uh, with the snow that we got, which is kind of an ice, icy, wintry mix, uh, it's not really doing a very good job. Uh, and it's not that the uh, ATV or plow has anything wrong with it, but our ATV is a 300. It doesn't have a lot of power. And honestly, with the stuff that came down uh, yesterday, it's really heavy, really icy. The ATV is struggling to say the least. So what we're gonna do is switch over to the snow blower for right now. Uh, I had thought about using the tractor, but again, it takes a little while to get that thing running. And I know with the snow blower, with what I need to do, it shouldn't take very long uh, to snow below all the walk paths and so forth. So that's the route that we're gonna take. We'll probably end up using the uh, a little bit of the ATV as well to kind of push some of the bigger stuff away. But uh, for the most part, I think the, the ATV is great if we stay on top of a snowfall uh, where the snow is not very heavy uh, and not very wet uh, and, and is more of that fluffy stuff. In that, in that regard, I think, or in that situation, I think the ATV with the plow would work great. Now, it could also just be my inexperience because I have seen a ton of videos out there and I've talked to people where the ATVs, you know, their ATVs work great on the snow, but for whatever reason, uh, again, I do think it's because I don't have a lot of power. Uh, my ATV just is not getting the snow pushed the way that I'd like to see it get pushed. And rather than just beat the hell out of the ATV, we're gonna wait on the ATV for right now. We're gonna go ahead and snow blow and get our walk pass all cleaned up. So I got the majority of the walk paths done with the uh, snowblower uh, and now what I'm doing is we went ahead and jumped on the ATV and so now I'm using the ATV to kind of clean everything up uh, and so and since there's not as much snow the ATV is actually doing a really really good job. Thing that you know 
Well, we got everything uh, cleaned off. It took quite a hell. It almost took the whole day. I think it's like two o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, let me just show you what we did. So we got these walking paths. Clean this out a little bit. Cleaned out to the GPS and the solar panels. Now I do have to unbury my snow machines. I haven't been running them much. But uh, we'll get those puppies uh, unburied and dug out and yeah. And then the driveway here, got all this done for the most part. Now ideally we would have used Duke to clean the uh, driveway area here uh, and also this small lot where the trailers are but duke is uh, waiting for some parts that we hope uh, is going to get him back up and running uh, as for the road our neighbor has been keeping it clear for us and uh boy are we thankful for that moving snow here in maine is just a way of life and you know coming from the chicagoland area i was used to moving snow but typically with a shovel Having this much area to clear, I can't do that with a shovel. So having Duke and the uh, snow blower and the ATV now and the tractor, oh boy, uh, big difference. <laughs> so we're gonna start working on the inside of the cabin, uh, specifically on the, the ceiling. Uh, we've got to get that finished along with the walls. So that's what we'll be working on next. All right, folks, that'll do it for this video. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Please share this video, and we will see you folks on the next video.